In this video, we're going to combine what you learned in the first unit about partitioning a line segment and kind of roll that, take that together, what we've done in the second unit with our constructions. And we're actually going to partition now using constructions. Um, as an additional reference, there's the Math Open Reference website that you can always go to that will walk you through this construction step by step. And of course, as you're watching this video, don't be afraid to stop, rewind, replay if at any point you find that I'm moving too quickly for you. Now hopefully you're in a quiet place right now where you're able to focus and you put away all distractions like pets, cell phones, televisions, things that might get in the way and interfere with your ability to focus and work hard over the course of the next 10 to 15 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and get right into this. We're going to partition or divide a given line segment into a certain number of parts. In this particular case, the number of parts that we want to divide our line segment into is five equal parts. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by looking at one end of this line segment. I'm going to take point A. From point A, I'm going to create or construct a line segment that is about the same length as segment AB, maybe a little bit longer than segment AB. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my compass and I'm going to use my compass or open up my compass setting to let's just say a little bit or about one-fifth what I think one-fifth the length of line segment AB would be. So again, this is an estimate. It's an about. We really don't know what one-fifth the length of line segment AB would be. That's what we're looking to find. So again, I'm just going to go about. That looks about one-fifth the length of AB, and I'm going to go mark off five pieces along my new line segment. Whoops. And where I really want to focus now is where that last arc intersected my line segment. And just so that I'll have somebody or some way to talk about that, I'm going to call him line segment C. At this point, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to measure the distance between point C and point B. And now that I know the distance between point C and B, I'm going to go place the point of my compass at point A, and I'm going to draw that same arc. So I'm going to keep my compass the setting the same, slide them down the line segment to point A, Go ahead and draw a nice arc. I am then going to flip the compass around and I'm going to go measure, use my compass now to measure the length of line segment AC. And at this point now, I'm going to go place the point of my compass at endpoint B. And using endpoint B as a center, I'm going to go ahead and draw a second arc. The point where my green arc and my purple arc intersect, I'm going to label or call point D. Again, I'm just going to name him so that I have somebody to talk about. And I'm then going to take and connect point D to point B using my straight edge. I'm then going to take my compass and using my compass I'm going to measure out the length of that original arc where I made those five arcs in red along line segment AC. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put the point of my compass at point D and I'm going to mark out five more of those equal arcs. And marking out five more of those equal arcs should be, bring me exactly to point B. Your construction, mine looks pretty good. Yours might not be exact, and that's due to some small margin of error. This is the point now where you want to get your straight edge. I think it's the trickiest part of the whole construction, but if you just remember to go endpoint to endpoint, it's going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to go endpoint A to endpoint D, and then I'm going to construct each of those arcs 
that I put on those line segments. So I'm going to connect the red arc to the blue arc. And in connecting the red arcs to the blue arcs, and then again I'm going to go endpoint to endpoint here at the end. In connecting those, I've now divided line segment AC into exactly five equal parts. That's a pretty cool construction. All right, it is rather lengthy. It does involve a lot of steps. So let's go, let's practice one more of these. In the next one, I think they're going to ask us now to construct or divide by construction a given line segment into four equal parts. So this one I could do by doing the perpendicular bisector construction three times, but that's kind of boring. I want to go partition. So again, I'm going to go and from point P, I'm just going to draw some random line segment. Because I want to divide this into four equal parts, I'm going to open my compass setting to what I believe uh, one-fourth or so of PQ is. And I'm going to go mark off four of those along that new line segment. This end point here now I'm going to label as point A. So I'm now going to go ahead and measure the distance between point A and point Q. What I want to do is travel right down this new line segment to point P and put the point of my compass at point P. Draw a nice red arc. And I guess that one's purple. Let's go back and make it red. And then I want to use my compass to measure the distance between point A and point P. What I'm going to do at this point is move my compass over to point Q and draw that nice blue arc. Come on, blue! There we go. And the spot now where my red and my blue intersect, I'm going to label that as point B. And I'm going to grab my straight edge and I'm going to connect now point B to point Q. In the next step, I'm going to go back to that very first construction that, or the very first arc length that I did where I marked off those four equal pieces in purple. And I'm going to measure that length once again. And then from point B, I'm going to go measure off four pieces of that purple arc length. Don't want to change that compass setting. It's real important that you keep that the same. And again, you can just double check. You should either be the same or pretty close. And again, this is the part that I get confused on sometimes. Just remember to go endpoint to endpoint, first arc to first arc and so on and so forth as you move down the line segments. And as long as you remember to go endpoint to endpoint, you'll be in good shape. So now we've successfully divided our line segment PQ into four equal parts. All right, as always, if you're struggling, if you're having a hard time, take some time, stop the video, rewind, rewatch. I think this might be a lot for... Um, um, to take in all at once. Don't be afraid to rewatch the video a couple times if you need to. But on the next page, see if you can go ahead and divide the line segment into three equal parts. And if you can, you'll know that you have the construction. If you can't, you want to go back and make sure you do some more work with this one.